As a minimalist, I don't just want less stuff, as in physical belongings, I also want my life to be simple and minimal. In this video, I share five areas of my life and habits within those that keep my life just that, minimal and simple. Walking is my preferred way to keep fit and healthy. It's free, you can basically do it anywhere and it requires minimal gear aside from a good pair of shoes. It's not a leisurely stroll we're talking about, it's a speed walk just shy of a slow jog. I would love to run, but I have too many aches and pains for that and high speed walking is gentler on the feet than knees. I take my walks first thing in the morning. I don't have breakfast or anything, I just jump in my gear and walk out the door. If I start doing something else after I wake up, my walk will not get done. I know that, so straight out of bed it is. Aside from the physical aspect of walking, the mental part is also beneficial. I'm a morning person, so I take my roughly one hour walk and I'm usually back home by 7 or 8, depending on when I woke up and if it's a work day or the weekend. As you may know, I listen to podcasts on my daily morning walks, and one of my favorites is How I Built This. On an episode back in March, they had the founders of Morning Brew on, and lo and behold, Morning Brew is sponsoring this video. Morning Brew is a daily newsletter that gets you up to speed on business, finance and tech in a bite-sized way in just 5 minutes. Like many aspects of my life, I'm a minimalist when it comes to consuming the news. I've never been a newspaper reader as in the paper version. I also don't watch the news on TV. I like to get my news in a format that's quick and easy to digest, such as newsletters. The Morning Brew newsletter delivers the latest on what's happening in the business, finance and tech world in an informative and witty way. I can quickly see what's going on in these fields and get the full picture. It's written in a very straightforward way and it's even made me interested in the stock market because of the way it's presented, mind blown. I also recently enjoyed an article about business acronyms which was really enlightening. The Morning Brew newsletter is completely free and it will take you less than 15 seconds to subscribe. Click in the link in the description to start receiving Morning Brew. Speaking of the news, since I don't get a morning paper, I don't bring a whole lot of paper into my home that needs to be recycled. I try to stop all paper and mail that I can before it enters my physical mailbox. I refuse catalogs when they're offered when I order things online. If I still get a catalog, I go back online and check if I can unsubscribe. I also say no thank you to physical newsletters that charities typically seem to send out. I'll send an email to them promising to still support them but asking them to save their postage. As for other paper clutter, I refuse paper receipts if I can. Some receipts act as warranties, so those I keep during the warranty period and then recycle. A lot of physical stores here in Sweden offer digital receipts now, which is really convenient. As much as I'd like to go completely paperless, I'm not at that point. In Sweden you need to keep tax papers for 7 years, so every year I get rid of the 8th year, if that makes sense. You also need to hold on to real estate documents and receipts regarding the property for 10 years after you sold it. Basically, I do try to keep other papers and paper clutter down to a minimum. I do still keep manuals for some small appliances. I know you can access all manuals online pretty much, but then I'd have to dig around for the make and model. And since I have the paper manuals, I just minimize them by keeping the pages in my own language and recycle the rest. Also, I'm a bit old school in the way that I like to highlight parts that I reference on the regular, like how to switch to daylight saving on my oven clock and how to do the paralysis cleaning. As for other larger appliances like fridge, washer and dryer, I keep those manuals for when I want to resell the apartment since those are included in the sale. When it comes to personal finance and banking services, I pay all bills online, make 99% of my bank errands online through self-service and receive most of my invoices straight into my bank app. A very few random invoices are sent through email and even fewer through snail mail, that's a real rarity. If I want to quickly pay someone or send over money for some reason, I use an app called Swish. I believe Venmo is a similar thing. As for physical payment, I never ever carry cash. And quite a few stores and restaurants over here in Sweden don't even accept cash anymore, it's card only. 
And speaking of cards, I only have a single debit card. Social media is quite a big part of my life, not only because I create content for it, I also consume it. Here is my two cents about that. You don't need to follow someone on all channels. There's no need for FOMO. Chances are they will let you know in all of them if something exciting is going on, so you will find out. I find it frustrating when I follow a person I get the same message slash piece of news a hundred times, so I just follow them where I get the most enjoyment. In some cases that's Instagram posts, in some it's Instagram stories, in others it's on YouTube, and so on. Of course I share my own new videos everywhere too, but I don't expect you guys to choose to see it everywhere. If you prefer finding out on Twitter that there's a new video, you can do so. Or if you prefer Instagram or Pinterest, you can do that too. Or simply subscribe here and click the bell notification icon. I like to follow a manageable amount of accounts. At the moment my total number on Instagram is 155. I follow friends and family and only a few other accounts that I really enjoy. This way I'm pretty much sure that I'll see all of their content if I want to. I call accounts on the regular or I might mute them for a while until I miss their content and unmute. The reason for unfollowing can be that they don't inspire me anymore or they make me feel bad for some reason or just plain start annoying me. It happens. So, those are five areas of my life that I like to keep simple and minimal aside from not having a lot of physical belongings. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, it really helps my channel. Also do consider subscribing. I'll continue to share all things Scandinavian from my apartment here in Stockholm and beyond. If you're looking for sources for things, you might get lucky in the description box. Thank you so much Morning Brew for sponsoring my video and to you for supporting the brands that support my channel. Also thanks so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Hej då!